Hello and welcome to our Thought for the Day from St Peter's Church, Elworth. In this church season of Pentecost, we're doing an occasional series reflecting on what it means to live as Christians, exhibiting the fruit of the Holy Spirit in our daily living. The Apostle Paul described the fruit of the Holy Spirit in a letter to the First Church in Galatia. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness and self-control. Paul is emphasising here that all these components form one fruit and thus are complementary. We can't choose between them. Living by the Holy Spirit means seeking to be kind, to be gentle, to be patient, to be good, to be loving and joyful. The third property in this list is peace, love, joy and peace. Peace is a complex concept and seems impossible to achieve in a troubled world and also in the struggles of our individual lives. What does Paul mean here by peace? Firstly, it is more than the absence of wars or conflict. In the Bible, peace is not defined by what it is not, but by what it achieves. In the Old Testament, the Hebrew word used for peace is shalom which means wholeness, unity and harmony. Through the sacrificial of death of Jesus on the cross, living in the peace of God is further developed into being at one with God. This is where we get the word atonement from, as a descriptor of the purpose of the first Good Friday. You see, the opposite of peace is not violence, but disharmony, a broken relationship, not being at one with. The peace Paul is describing here is rooted in our relationship with God. Our once shattered lives are again made whole and we become in Christ what God originally intended us to be, at one with God and with one another. And the Holy Spirit equips us to live in this peace. God's peace is an experience, yes but it is also visibly expressed in our lives, in the wholeness of our relationships with God and with one another. May this property of the fruit of the Holy Spirit, peace, shalom, at oneness, be evidenced in your heart and in our relationships today and forever. Let the peace of Christ rule in our lives. Stay safe and God bless.